kololo kololo nem kwona ti kololo i don't kololo kololo la bo in yo number one lax move a chiller with black wanderers bless you to start music basically my my biggest inspiration mm -hmm. was my dad mm -hmm. you know growing up in a family where like your parents love music mm -hmm. they're all into music um, he was a music lecturer mm -hmm. at uh, uh, an institution called Onyama NTC mm -hmm. yeah teachers call it so that's that's that's, that's where like I picked uh, the inspiration to do music from. He would take me to his drama. He had a drama group. Mm -hmm. He would teach people, you know, songs, folk songs and stuff. That's when I got so much inspired to do, you know, to mm -hmm. do music. Actually, paid for my first audio. That's my amazing. First, yeah, my first recording. I still remember you. He was actually doing um, a couple of folk songs. Then mm -hmm. I was like, you know what, Dad, I need to try this out. I, mm -hmm. I think I can do this. So. I said, okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Paid for the studio and I did my first song. I still remember the song. It's called um, The Day I Saw You. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that was produced by Joe Emerald mm -hmm. from uh, Rick's production. Okay. It was in Bus Park, Gulu. Bus, bus Park? Yeah, Bus here. Park, yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, that was a couple of years ago. That was 2009, actually. Okay. 2009. That was my very first uh, studio recording. Mm -hmm. But I'd been writing, like, from school, lyric preps, I would write and... Mm -hmm. I as well be, uh, started participating in MDD from primary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We danced like Choco Choco in my MDD uh, classes and would stand out as well. So I'm glad you've mentioned dancing mm. because mm -hmm. you're a dancer. You can actually move. Yeah, a little bit, but <laughs> sadly I'm losing it. What do you mean? What um, happened? I used to do a lot of like... Um, take a lot of dance lessons, classes and stuff. I used to dance in church as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but at the time I think, uh, I don't know whether I've gotten busy for that. And it's, it's, it's not the usual me. Like, I also get that a lot, man. You used to perform, you used to dance. Yeah. But yeah, it's not on that level like way back when I started. You realize that there's n it's quite rare to have an artist that can sing right mm -hmm. and also dance yeah yeah you know, and you're letting you're letting one of your things <laughs> fall you're letting one of your things go i need to get back to that you do yeah, yeah for real you for do real, for real because personal i think i'm a performer and uh, you are that encompasses a lot mm -hmm. yeah i think i'm gonna skip all the usual questions now i want to talk about your adorable adorable son oh he's I the cutest little th he's literally a mini you Ah. he's very cute Thank you. And I know that he inspires you a lot. So much. What's it like being a dad? It's actually amazing. Yeah? It's amazing. <laughs> you know, being woken up at 5 a.m. and somebody's all over you, you're still yeah. sleeping, and it's sometimes annoying, but yeah, it's, it's the best feeling ever. And uh, I don't regret it. Um, it's hard. It comes with its, its challenges, but mm -hmm. I just love it. And what... What inspires, you know, how does it motivate you, being a father, how does it motivate you to, to do what you do? Well, um, waking up every day knowing somebody expects you to deliver, mm -hmm. um, not just, you know, um, uh, basically like, um, you know, the, the needs and everything, but, mm -hmm. you know, be there and, uh, you know, guide them, mm -hmm. be, be the icon they, they, they would love to grow into. Yeah. It makes me, you know, straighten up myself, look into myself, mm -hmm. I check myself every day in the mirror and be like, okay. Uh, what kind of dad am I trying to be? Mm -hmm. What am I trying to do and stuff like that? So it keeps, it keeps me in model. check. Yeah, yeah, it keeps me in check. And I think you know we've had conversations in private, and there's lots of things that I, I maybe I assumed mm -hmm. because you know you're an artist, yeah, you're a star, and you already have these preconceived notions of oh, if he's doing music and he's big, he's gonna be X Y Z. And yeah, one fascinating sure. thing I learned about you is that you don't drink alcohol. No, I don't. Do you know how rare that is in this <laughs> country? <laughs> I get that a lot. Like, sometimes we go out and we're having fun, we're chilling probably, and all, the, all my friends are drinking. They'll be like, man, why are you not drinking? I'm on a soda. And I'm like, man, you're, 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 you're a girl. Come on. No. So um, I'm like, you know what? There's no, like, for me, actually, I, I always tell them, you know, there's no competition with these things. This is me, and mm -hmm. I don't have to 
you know, do something that is normal. Mm-hmm. You know, so basically that's it. And I think I really respect that because it's not Thank easy to you. go against the grain, especially in social settings when True. everybody's like, happy It's dreams. very hard. It's Let me very buy. hard. I can't imagine. They actually buy. Sometimes they buy, you know. Be mm-hmm. like, okay, you're going to buy all different brands mm-hmm. of beer and alcohol. <laughs> You try them all, the mm-hmm. one that you like, you go with it. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm like, I've tried all of them, yes, but they don't work for me. So how long have you not been drinking for? I think all through my, all through, all through, I've never drunk before. Ever? I just told you, uh, not ever. I've, I've you've, test, tri- you've, you've tasted, tried, you've, yeah. you've sampled, yeah, I've sampled, and it's not for you. It doesn't work for me. And wh- why, why not? Why do you, why have you made that decision? Um, basically, I think I do just don't like the taste of alcohol, mm-hmm. especially beer, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like you're taking karatona, you know karatona. <laughs> whenever I take, whenever I take a sip, that is just how I feel. So okay, hasn't worked for me. For me. I just <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I, you know, I say that because I'm actually really impressed about that because oh. there's not there's not many people in your in your situation that have access to these things. It would not be difficult for you to be yeah, enjoying sure. that in plenty I understand. so for you to make the decision that actually no even if i'm going to get social pressure i'm not going to have a drink I, that's I, powerful yeah i think actually my, my 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 background as well because um had very strict parents mm-hmm. they, they they didn't condone drinking i mean drinking they were actually born again mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah so that upbringing and stuff uh, also contributed to that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah if i if i was to take on drinking i would be a drunk <laughs> <laughs> i think there's there's a lot of people that will be in that company with you. Yeah, yeah. So no, I'm really happy. Very humble. That's the one thing that I've always mm-hmm. told you. You're Thank an extremely you so humble being and it's very refreshing to see. Thank you so much. Um, because I've interacted with different people and, diff- and I don't think you've let it get to your head. You know? Hearing it from you. And I, you know, I think there's a lot of people who also share the same energy that we just want to keep yeah. you like that because it's a very rare thing sure. to find. Sure. And the bigger that you get, I know. You know, it, it's so it's really genuinely nice to see a humble, very down to earth individual who's a very cool guy. Thank you. Moving Thank you on, so. you're yeah. welcome. <laughs> um, moving on, I think I re- I personally want to know. Mm. Some of the difficulties that you've had coming up. You've been doing this now almost 10 years. Yeah. What struggles have you faced? Oh, a lot. <laughs> so much. <laughs> so much. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, back then, um, finances for one. Mm-hmm. Like I told you, uh, my parents supported. So I didn't, um, though they supported, they didn't have much. Mm-hmm. But basically, what they had would go into my education. Mm-hmm my siblings education you know mm-hmm. looking out for our well-being so mm-hmm. apparently i didn't also work back then i was in school when mm-hmm. i when i began like my career mm-hmm. so um it was a hassle mm-hmm. you'd go th- i would actually do a lot of savings mm-hmm. um to, to 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 come up with something to to pay to pay for you know for, for studios for recording mm-hmm. i remember um tam nofi mm-hmm. would, would travel with me for shows um Sometimes you come back and you're given 10,000 shillings, 5,000, and gladly, um, I don't know what, I don't know why, but he just liked me, mm-hmm. so um, I would pay half mm-hmm. of the studio, um, the total studio billing, mm-hmm. so I would pay half, and at least that helped me um, do a lot of my early recordings back mm-hmm. then. So um, access to studio was a challenge because of the money. Then secondly, um, the promotion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was crazy back then. Everything you need, um, like back then, you you actually you're everything. Mm-hmm. You're the artist, you're mm-hmm. the manager, you're the promoter. Mm-hmm. You know, you need to. We would actually walk on the streets distributing the music, to computer centers because we had the notion that if the music is playing all over, you know, gigs are gonna come in. Yeah, but yeah. Um, so that was a challenge. Promoting the music was hard, and uh, back then, I <clears throat> I think I was among the very first artist who incorporated a lot of English into uh, mm-hmm. the music. So uh, the perception of the, the reception of the songs wasn't so fast, mm-hmm. it was slow. So it was a challenge too because people wanted you to do more luo. Yeah. And uh, I was actually this kind of person who wanted to like, incorporate and have the music cut across to the elites as well. So mm-hmm. it took time, it took time, but I'm glad it picked up. 
I think it's definitely picked up because yeah, I yeah. know there's been some of your songs that have gone so far across the world. Not sure. Like I, you know, I see you post on social media and there's mm. people yeah, far and wide yeah. playing your song, songs in clubs and mm, true, bars and. True. So I think that mix has worked really well. Very well, and I'm glad a couple of guys, a couple of artists that came after took it up, and I think it's a new trend right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you could do um, duo and fuse it up mm -hmm. with other languages. It's mm -hmm. amazing. And I think also it's testament to you as an artist that yeah. I have, you know, I play your music in my home, oh. and you know, not just here but also in the UK. And I have friends who have no understanding of our language, wow. but they vibe to your music. Wow. So, you know, that's a testament to you as an artist that even if they don't understand it, you know you're a good artist mm. when they don't understand your but words, they still vibe but they vibe to it. 